right in the previous session we have discussed how to set up an environment of course before that what is the concept of python and now we are discussing in displaying the data different types of data what are those number string and even boolean right now so yes let me write even a boolean that you have to write here like this as no sorry as the python is case sensitive exactly whatever they have given the same thing that we have to implement then now let us run the program cd space sorry initial and python space okay so we have given two numbers two print statements each and every print statement it's just opening a new line output and we even write the negative number even a negative number with the decimal point now as discussed now as discussed if you want to print a group of characters or a single character that has to be enclosed with either single quotes or double quotes for example if we have written like this hey john let's meet at something so you want to print this statement it is saying that invalid syntax because the group of characters it is treating something a concept of a value inside this something else it is separate concept or separate value it is separate value each and everything you need to set all these things on a single line so to set it as a single line we are enclosing this text in between the double quotations or as you can also go with single quotations but why we have given preference here single quote the double quotations because inside the string inside that string there is somewhere else we have single quotes that's why so as it is inside the string we have single quotes we have enclosed overall in double quotes then it's displaying as it is what we have expected okay and what about if we want to display multi line statement when you want to display multi line statement either you enclose three times of double quotations opening and three times of double quotations closing correspondingly so if i am writing hey john then let's meet at okay then this statement let us see right now whatever we have say how we have given the same we are getting in the output even we can also go with like this but one thing i mean single quotes also single quotes opening single quotes closing in between that okay we can meet so now right 
okay so either we can go with the double quotations or either we can go with single quotations that is enclosed either in three times of double quotations or three times of single quotations when we want to display multi line statement then so we have done with the number string and let me write finally with the boolean which is either true or false okay so this is all we have written to display some statement or set of statements with the different data type values then now what is the meaning of comment the let me write commenting is used to give hint to the programmer not for the user that is first point you can say that means if i am writing a program for what purpose i am writing i want to write the statement but that should not be executed so commenting is used to give hint to the programmer second is it should skip or else it skips it skips from the execution how to display the commenting how to work with commenting there are two types of commenting one is single line and another one is multi line the single line can be written with just hash symbol whereas multi line either we can use three times of double quotations inside this whatever that statement or set of statements that you want to skip from the execution you can write or as you even can also write three times of single quotations okay so now let's write take the same example so make it comment dot py i want to say in the very beginning this is a program giving output okay so but this this statement it should not execute in the execution time for example python space 02 it is giving error actually we don't want to execute so as it is a single line statement and we don't want to execute but it should give something information to the programmer so we say hash a single line comment that can be written with hash so right now when programmer open your program the programmer can easily understand what, what is this program is given or for what purpose that you have written this statement whereas what about multi line comment for example i don't want all these three lines so yes either i can go with this double quotations opening closing writing the three times of double quotations or single quotations inside the print statement is called multi line statement printing 
whereas writing the three times of double quotations or single quotations outside of that print statements is called commenting that is the difference for example here see has already have given three times okay first let us execute this one right now only 764 is display nothing else other is display right now whereas now i want to skip this statement if you have open double quotations close double quotations as already you have given inside so it won't work properly it gives error so you need to make it vice versa when you want to plan commenting multi line statement you have to just check it out if inside there is any double quotations go with single quotations outside if inside we have single quotes then go with double quotes that's the difference okay now so right so if we have a, a so double more, and single both you can see the concept of commenting concept of commenting means skipping a statement or set of statements let me write here uh, commenting is used to give the hint to the programmer it skips from the execution okay the commenting skips the statement or statements from the execution time okay then got a clarity up to this point Yes, if we use both, clear a piece. Like, uh, yes, sir, clear. But if we use both single and double hmm. for the printing the statements, then we want to in include both statement in uh, comments. We can use any. Both. So here, if you observe in the statement, I have single quotes. One second, hold on, please. Yes, sorry. So let me tell you. See, in this statement, we have single quotes. That's why we have given in double quotations as a priority in displaying this one. But now it is a priority to make this commenting. Now you have given opposite. That we have to understand. It's not in. See, we should not confuse as it is already having single quotes. How it will be used means. here is the main which is joining side which is enclosed this statement so you have to enclose now with opposite single quotes okay okay sir right then here if you observe see uh uh if i want to skip this one then if i go again with single quotes from this up to this point is it skipping whereas from this it is skipping but what about these two statements it's not skipping because it came out of that block if you run see and expect it of course error so obviously you have to say Double quotations. Right, like this. So that's it. Whatever the main thing at print statement, opposite, make it an opposite for the commenting. That's it. Then. Now we just got an idea. Yes, displaying the data. and commenting the data now coming to the concept of 
identifiers what is an identifier the identifiers are used to refer the task task means assigning the value even expressions or anything it will be and the rules okay let me write one more statement the identifiers are used to refer the task and it can be it can be any enemies it can be of a variable concepts it can be of functions there is different concepts it can be of class and objects concepts it can be of module overall whatever the concept that you are going to refer that is considered as an identifier to declare the identifier to declare the identifiers the rules are what are the rules the rules are we can say the starting character should be either lower case of an alphabets or as upper case of an alphabets or even underscore from the second character onwards character from the second character onwards it can be either lower case of an alphabets upper case of an alphabets and even 0 to 9 along with underscore symbol okay then it can have it can have combination of lower case and upper case characters like you can say camel kiss this is this kind of concept you can see camel kissy we'll write that one example then it should okay uh it it don't okay uh, let me write. okay no spaces are allowed you can write like this no spaces are allowed and that's it you can see examples for example name all the characters are lower case of course it's okay matching the starting character alphabet and the rest of the characters are also alphabets so it's accepted i can say let me accept or we can say correct whereas full space name it's wrong because no spaces are allowed okay one more point 
other than underscore no special symbols are allowed okay then if you have written like this yes it is accepted because it is a combination of lower and upper cases it is called camel case so it's correct whereas underscore something yes that starting letter can be that starting character can be underscore so it is accepted you can say correct whereas one underscore num it won't accept because the starting character it is not allowed you to write with an integer so it's wrong so like this examples we can say some of the rules i mean these are all just a variables okay you can also make it something for example full name opening closing parentheses this kind of things are called functions and modules module name you have to say all the characters that should be in lower case only so you can say module name one yes you can write but module names mostly give preference to write only with alphabets that further topics we will be discussing but just for you to get an idea a name that can be of a variable or function or class and object or module or package any concept that is referred with the concept of an identifier and that identifier is having some rules that we have written here now let's implement the concept of an identifier okay before that let me say one more concept keywords what is a keyword the keywords or what keyword or keywords are built in words keywords are built in are reserved words which are having their own or its own meaning to do some action and gives an outputs gives the output so examples we say raise all the keywords that should be written in lower case only raise with you can say except and if not scope okay not no scope etc so on okay these are the some sample keywords you can also find out what are the keywords just open the command prompt type python then type help and inside this type keywords right now false none true and so on asset async break class continue else except finally lambda import non local return raise return try with these are all the keywords each and every keyword is having its own meaning depends upon the requirement we will be using okay then almost all the keywords we will be touching mm -hmm. right then now coming to the concept of variable what is a variable the variable 
e is an okay the variable e is use it to hold the value the variable is used to hold the value not only holding the value it even do manipulation manipulation is assigning something value to that particular identifier which is called variable or updating or deleting this kind of an actions so the things that we can say assigning the assigning updating deleting okay assigning updating and deleting of course some other options also we can copy and so on so how to declare an identifier how to declare an variable not identifier with the concept of the name which is referring is called an identifier and when you are assigning something value or when you have given something opening closing parentheses depends upon its association or depends upon the situation or change of the identifier we say variable or function or class or object like this so now let's create the concept of variables as we have discussed yes we can also write here the concept what we are planning to do variables i want to assign the value of 12 in a or else i want to save the value of 12 in the memory location and that should be accessed with a particular name wherever or whenever it is required so we can write a statement here the variable is used to hold the value and that can be accessed wherever or whenever it is required of course what i have already given the statement in the above the same thing it's not much difference okay so the variable is used to hold the value even it can do the manipulation of assigning updating let me write let me remove this statement okay it, it even can do the manipulations of assigning updating and deleting etc so now so i want to make these two values that should save in the memory location and that should be accessed wherever or wherever it is required even that should be manipulated so in that case i can just write in the left hand side the name of the identifier that equals to its value which we are assigning 12 to the num1 in the memory location whereas num2 so we say here assigning the values to its identifiers because it is identifying the value right now and that is called we can say variable 
declarations okay we have assigned or we have saved the memory but we want to see now so how to see to see let us write here accessing the values of course to see the output we have print statement in this print statement double quotation the value of number what do you say here the output Yeah. So, if you observe, oh, yes, it will show the value of none. Mm, the same thing as it is enclosed yeah, in yes. double quotations as it is. Yeah. And then print. You sorry refer that variable. So now, let me close this one. We don't. We no longer require. let's run so yes the value of number 12 but if you observe we are getting two print statements in one by one line can't we write the two statements into a single line statement we can write how okay first let us write the value of num1 outside of double quotations or single quotations specify num1 is it okay let's write it is saying syntax error omin uh, invalid syntax yes the concept here is when you want to see the two different statements two different statement values in single line effect you have to concatenate in python to concatenate we have comma symbol the meaning of this one is the left hand side not only left hand side the comma separation of left hand side whatever it is it will be executed separately the right hand side of comma whatever it is it will be executed separately then we can't use plus no okay let's see what if we use plus whether it will be acceptable or not there is can only concatenate string not integer let's make Okay. Okay, sir. Right. Now, then print the value of num two. and then so the two things that we have accessed here along with the constant statement or static statement and its values referring then so first one is we have assigned the values to its variables and if you observe here there is no need to specify any data type as of now in the num1 in the very beginning i have just given 12 later in the same variable i can plan with something other value there is no restriction you can update for n number of times with different values with different data type values also there is no restriction here let me write here updating so check it out here previously the value of num1 is 12 and the value of num1 now it became john 
so the, that is called we can say even free form type language programming language simply we can say there is no restriction or you no need to set any restrictions this particular variable should have only particular that type value like this it can be changed anywhere or any time whenever or wherever it is required okay then now what about if we want to delete there is a keyword del or as this even can also be okay del space i want to delete the value of num2 after deleting the value of num2 i want to access it let's see after deleting the value into the particular identifier and there is no value and the, and if there is no value there is no meaning of inside the what is it sorry if there is no value there is no meaning of accessing the value right so you have to say here okay let me write here deleting so we have assigned accessed updated and deleted okay now let me write for example full name email address mobile number it is be two to three things let me just access all these points accessing the values of user something a statement i am writing whereas print then the value of full name comma if you observe in all these three concepts in all sorry in all these three identifiers I have given in terms of camel casing then the value of Let's come to start here. Right now, as we have deleted this one and there is no value, so it is giving error for timing. Of course, not timing. We have to skip this statement or we have to delete. Because until unless we cross this line, we are unable to move ahead. Right now, I'm we miss here the Python. The Python is unable to move ahead. So we say if you want these statements for our reference purpose, you can just make it commenting or total delete from the coding. That's it. Now write the value of full name, email address, and mobile number. Now observe the same concept, the same concept instead of writing multiple number of times. Sorry, multi lines. Now, in a single line statement itself separated by comma, full name comma, email address comma, mobile number. The meaning of this statement is 
declaring all the required identifiers at one place separated by comma correspondingly assigning the values to it okay full name email address mobile number and so the first value that will be assigned to full name separated by comma second value that will be assigned to the email address and third value that will be assigned to the mobile number right same output then for example there is a something variable there is b and even having same value and even having c value also c let me first write the value of a the value of b the value of c So now then if you observe just I am assigning the same value to C that is assigning to B that is assigning to A, a single line statement. Okay. So this is all about the concept how we can declare the identifiers with variables. Okay. Okay, sir. Then, so next is let us come to the concept of data types. So for data types, I will be creating separate folder. Let me create. Okay. Now. What is the data type? The type of value which we declare to perform some action. Of course, in general statement, it's not a predefined statement. Okay. The type of value which we declare, let me the type of value which we declare to do some action and gets its output specially or especially then that particular identifier is considered as a particular data type of course you don't need to write such a long statement a simple statement whatever the value based on that value if it is integer it's one it is if it is a number if it is a string it is a something that value of type what user is entering value of type what we are giving that can be said as a data type and what are the data types that we are having we are having number data type string data type boolean data type
then additionally list data type list to pull dictionary and finally we say set these are all the different data types okay so let's as already we know yes the number ranges from 0 to 9 even it can be of a positive a negative of course even it can be of a concept of exponential a long value like this it can be of positive or even a negative like this even it can be of decimal point so okay let's each and every data type having some sample built-in functions where it can do some operations so let me make it what is the zero four right now number dot py so number that type. I am writing first something a number Let's just see this, see this space data types zero. Sorry, Python space zero four. Okay, then if we want to delete multiple values at a time, then how in the previous example we have deleted only one value. Only one value is uh, if we, we have deleted the value of particular variable. Then if we want to delete multiple values, multiple variable values at a time, we can just write same DL separated by comma. The value of number and the value of number num2 that we want to delete. After deleting, if you're trying to access, let's see. Right, there is no. So, for example, okay, if you have that this statement first, then right now num2 is also saying that it's not defined. Okay, then the rest of things, the built-in functions in number data type, what are those some sample functions and string concepts. We'll discuss every, everything in tomorrow session. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you and bye. Bye, sir.